This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this GMC Yukon. It's a 2004 GMC Yukon LS. That's cloth. It's a 5.3 liter V8 and it's two wheel drive. This Yukon has 58,000 miles. It was purchased directly from an insurance company in El Paso. Uh, it's on a salvage title due to theft, not collision, not flood, not fire. Basically, attorneys for the insurance companies never want to see it again. So they throw the paperwork under the bus. Uh, that basically means that when you kill yourself in it, if you kill yourself in it, it can't come back to them. They gave it a salvage title, which means they guaranteed nothing because they gave it a salvage title. Anyway, if you want to know more about the subject, just watch a little three minute animated video in our ads and uh, you'll learn more. But it's attorneys. Anyway, when we get in here, we do a about a two hour inspection, driving, fluids, everything gets checked. Um, and we fix what needs to be fixed. Uh, whatever we don't fix, we tell you we didn't fix. Um, whatever we do, we tell you everything, all right? Basically, this is a list. It's a lot of maintenance stuff. This uh, appeared to have come from probably like, maybe at one point it was uh, in uh, Tijuana or Ensenada or something like that. Uh, probably somewhere near a beach, so it needed a bunch of um, just minor stuff, um, but this is this is the list. Uh, the front bumper was messed up. You'll see, by the way, there'll be four pictures before pictures in our videos. You'll see exactly uh, how it looked before we uh, got it here. Uh, we gave it a new bumper, upper uh, the plastic on the upper and the lower plastic and the front bumper is new. It got uh, front hubs. It got front control arms, it got front ball joints, it got right and left power mirrors are new. All four brake pads and rotors are new. Let's see, the right front speed sensor is new. Fuel filter, it got brand new plugs and wires, spark plugs and wires are new. Obviously the tires are brand new, we bought brand new tires for it. Um, got an oil change, it got a tranny service, uh, got a new air, con uh, air compressor, uh, serpentine belt is new, uh, even the, minor, the monitors in the tires are new. Um, let's see, serpentine belt, let's see, shocks, also got four new shocks and the shift cable is new. I'm gonna fire this thing up. Cosmetically, it's got a few dings and scratches and it's got some touch up. Please uh, look really closely at the, uh, at the uh, pictures my brother takes. He'll take probably uh, 50 to 70 HD pictures. In those HD pictures, uh, there'll be a little microscope deal you can click on where you can get really close and zoom in. So you'll be able to see it in detail. Um, it's got dings and scratches and nicks pretty much everywhere. Um, this fender, you'll notice in the picture, had a dent from like here to here. And that we did replace. We did replace this fender, but you'll be able to see what it looked like before. And then, you know, we probably could have left it that way, but that was just a little too long. Anyway, it's a 5.3. Like I said, all the plugs and wires are new. Battery is new, I can see that. Compressor's new, runs great. Does have rear air. Here's your passenger rear window. The rear air works from the master controls. It used to have a DVD player. They took it out, they stole it, whatever, when they stole it, so we just put in that plug. Um, you can get that replaced. The radio doesn't work either. Uh, we don't do radios or DVDs here just because when we do, the people who buy them inevitably don't like that brand and put in their own and we just wasted, you know, a couple hundred dollars on something that we didn't need to waste money on. Seats in great shape. Carpus shows a little bit of wear, not too bad. 
this is really a good transportation car is what we're looking at here um, not particularly ugly not particularly bad third seats not there obviously um, it's a cloth third, third seat most of them end up in people's driveways anywhere and their garages on the ground so I don't think that's such a big deal if you wanted to buy one you could probably pick one up on eBay for a couple hundred dollars two or three hundred dollars um, but uh, I know I had a Tahoe just like this and the third seat lived on the uh, garage floor Let's see. It sure is quiet. It's running. I can't even tell it's running. Mirrors out. These are brand new mirrors. Down. Other side. A little bit of wear right here in the in the cushion, but not too bad. Power seat forward and back and up and down. Tilt wheel, that works fine. Alright, let me get in here. Put on the seat belt. You can hear the uh, air in the back. That's working fine. Let's see, turn on the air up here. There's your air. Dual zone. All right, so there's your air, you got traction control. See I'm hitting the button up there. That's on and off for the traction control. That's this button here. See, like I said, radio, not happening. Probably needs a new, well, the pro, the bottom line is this is a crappy radio anyway, given the time. You want MP3, you want Bluetooth. So you just take it to Best Buy and get a Bluetooth and call it a day. That's what you should do. Um, plugging in another factory radio is a waste of money and time. And there's cruise control there. There's the tow on and off. 58,350 miles. All right, let's go for a ride. Let me turn off the toe. There you go. Ah, uh, let's see. What do we need to know? Uh, this is on a salvage title. You cannot get plates or insurance on a salvage title. So if you're gonna come to Tucson to drive it home, we have to take it to the police here. They do a level three inspection. And then we take the level three on the salvage title to motor vehicles. And they give us what's called a restored salvage title. All right. Uh, that takes us a minimum of four hours from the time we get up and get the vehicle at six in the morning to the finish of the whole process. Sometimes it takes up to 10 hours depending on whether the cops are really busy or they have actual real police work to do. Uh, that's why we charge $200 to do that. 50 goes to the state, 150 goes to us to cover a guy just sitting there staring at the car potentially all day. Let's see what's great. This thing runs really, really well. Very quiet, really smooth ride. Uh, of course, it's got brand new shocks, brand new tires, uh, control arms, ball joints. Uh, this initially was going to be my ex-wife's car, which is kind of why we did so much with it. And then we found a little Sonata that would save a little bit more gas money for her and gave her that. But this thing was on its way to being uh, her car. It also got a brand new windshield. I forgot about that. It's got a new windshield also. This guy here, huh? So it runs great. Um, so you're gonna pay $200 to restore the title. You're gonna pay $250 dock fee, and you're gonna pay taxes. Taxes are three are two percent city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So as an example, if your state tax rate is three percent, and you come here to drive it home, you're gonna pay five percent tax. That's your three plus our two. You're gonna pay a $250 dock fee. You're gonna pay $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, let's see, 
what else is there to say? Oh, uh, if you pay by wire and ship, um, you still may want to add $200 to the price and have us restore the title before um, it leaves. Uh, unless you're sure you can get it done in your state. Uh, all we can provide you with, obviously, is the truck itself, the Arizona salvage title that's now an Arizona salvage title, and a bill of sale. Um, so if you decline the $200 uh, restore, just make sure you can get it done because you don't want to ship it to wherever you're going and then find out it needs to come back. All right. I, it's only happened twice in 10 years um, where somebody couldn't get it done themselves, but sometimes it takes six or seven weeks when we can get it done in a couple hours, you know, three or four hours, really. Uh, and we can get it done the next day, and some people have to make appointments. Uh, I know in Texas it's pretty easy, but uh, I'm sure in California it takes forever to get an appointment. Anyhow, uh, let's see, deposits. Please get your deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Um, see, like this, there's like a dent right here. Um, once we have a deposit, we have a deal. And we'll put your name in a banner over the truck, uh, the truck over the Yukon at wheelconnects.com. Until then, it's for sale. The last thing I'm going to say, and I say this about everything we have. I mean, they're going three deep now. The, here, we have a lot of stuff here, a lot of really cool rigs. But every one of these things is out of warranty, by year or miles, or because they're on a salvage title. This one is out of warranty by years and miles. Okay, so let's realize that the reason it has it had a warranty of X amount of years and X amount of miles is because the factory didn't know what would happen to it after a certain number of miles or years so the people who built it didn't know we do not know more than the, than the people who built it so there's risk in buying this truck this Yukon I keep saying trucks I'm surrounded by them um, basically what we're saying is even though we've done plugs and wires and tranny service and oil and tires and you know front end and <laughs> I mean there's really nothing that can go wrong it doesn't mean that an injector is not going to go bad next week it doesn't mean that the tranny is not going to come out of the butt of this thing it doesn't it, it doesn't mean that we're not trying to tell you that this thing isn't going to need something next week um, it's a hell of a good running vehicle you just saw it run like crazy it was going to be my ex-wife's car uh, with my kids in it so you know, we didn't really spare any expense on the mechanical end of it. Um, yes, it's got dings, you know, pretty much everywhere. Nothing serious, but just little ones everywhere. It's got this thing down low here. Um, but like I said, uh, if you're risk averse, you gotta go buy a brand new one. And a brand new cloth two wheel drive Yukon's probably $40,000. And then you have three years and 36,000 miles of stress free motoring before you get to start making payments on the remaining. 30 that you still owe. <laughs> okay? That's what you get. Okay? So, please come into this wide open with your eyes wide open. Realize you're saving a ton of money and some of that money is going to have to be spent sooner or later on a repair. All right? Anyway, it runs great. I would drive it to New York in a second. Um, that's about it. Thank you.